Hi, welcome along everyone. Today we're going to take a look at this lovely little tool here. It's the Angleizer template tool. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> so here is our Angleizer. Funny little thing, isn't it? Um, and it locks together with these little nuts here, as you can see, to hold it in place. Uh, you've got metric scale one side and inches imperial the other, okay? So it's quite a simple device. And of course, as the name infers, it's for getting angles right. We all need to get those right, don't we? <laughs> there you can see with that little drawing that comes with the rule, um, its uses, which obviously is for angles, you can see how they've marked out a particular angle there, and doing a bit of fencing there, getting the angle right there. I really like it. I'm being a plumber myself, I use it to try and get angles correct on bending pipes around uh, objects that are in the way, it gets you the correct angle. Um, I find as well really useful for things like tiling uh, and cutting woodwork. I'll show you the sort of thing I mean. Well, when I cut the tiles here, you can see that I've, I probably could have done with it here with this little lump sticking out. But this is the type of thing you, you put it up there like so uh, and get your corner accurate. And it really does work. That, once you've locked these down into place, um, you know those angles are going to stay. You can just get them locked on like so and lock them down. Now, as I say, there's a little lump there causing mine to stick out a bit. I could have done with this tool then, but I've only just got it. Uh, but it's harder without it, believe me. And then you've got your angle there, haven't you, to cut your tile there. So it means life is going to be a lot easier. That's just one use. That's just on the floor tiles. I'll tell you another one that really gets you as well is the old corner. Um, you always find they're not quite square. Uh, if you try putting a shelf up into a corner, uh, you often find you get a little gap at one end uh, where the corner's running out. So again, another good use for this tool is to get that corner straight. This is where it comes in again. You can just put your angleizer there into the corner and just do it up on the corner. Do them all up and square, like so. Okay, I know I've got inches because I like doing mine in inches, which is why I say if you did it around the other way, you could do it in metric and millimetres, your preference. Okay, once they're locked in, that is the angle of the corner there. So we can see that that angle, you can tell actually, it almost looks like it's slightly out already, doesn't it, that corner? So at least you know now that you cut your wood to that angle, uh, it's going to fit in there nice and snug like that in the corner. That's just one other good use for this tool which I think is a really handy device. So there we have it, very useful tool, it's very nicely made, it's alloy metal, it's very good and strong, it's not plastic, it's not going to snap or break. Um, I like it, it's sold by Crazy Links, okay, I'll give you the link for it uh, through Amazon and if you're after something like this, it's going to save you lots of time and work, especially when you're cutting corners on things and getting them wrong like we all do, um, I think it's a good, good little tool for the job. So there we are, that's it from me. You know where to go for all my usual bits and pieces, Derek and 33, catch you again, bye bye. Does that mean no more budge jobs? Possibly, <laughs> no more gaps. <laughs>